Unpack the four large boxes to make sure all parts are present. Box 1 contains the assembly manual and the hardware box. Keep some of the packaging for use in a later step. Set panels aside. Unpack the hardware box to check that all parts are present. Unpack the lift and lift rails from box 5. Make sure you lubricate the rails. We recommend WD-40. You can label the parts using a sticky note. Starting with the bottom panel G, attach 5T2 locking plate casters to the underside of the panel. Using B1 fix bolts and the enclosed Allen key. Lock the casters and flip the panel over. Insert two D1 dowel pins into panel O. Attach 13 C1 cam bolts to panel G. You can spray a small amount of WD-40 into the cam bolt anchors to allow them to attach easily. Insert the cam bolts on panel G into panel O. Tighten the cam locks by turning 180 degrees clockwise. Attach C2 cam covers. Insert 8 D1 dowel pins into the edges of panel D. Use a mallet to tap the pins in as far as they'll go. Attach 2 C1 cam bolts to panel X. Insert 4 D1 dowel pins into panel X. Attach 2 C1 cam bolts to panel Z. Insert 4 D1 dowel pins into panel Z. Attach the right lift rail to panel Z using 3 S1 screws as shown. Insert the cam bolts on panel Z into the edges of panel D. Insert the cam bolts on panel X into the edges of panel D. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Insert the cam bolts on panel G into the edges of panels X, D and Z. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Make sure the casters are locked and flip the cabinet shell onto its wheels. Insert four D1 dowel pins into the edges of panel Y1. Insert 4 D1 dowel pins into the edges of panel A. Insert 4 D1 dowel pins into the edges of panel Y2. Attach the left lift rail to panel Y2 as shown using 3 S1 screws. Insert the dowel pins on panel F into panels Y1 and Y2 as shown. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Insert the cam bolts on panel G into the edges of panels Y1 and Y2. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Don't forget about how great ergonomics can enhance your sewing sessions. The Aero Hydraulic Sewing Chair is the most comfortable chair, and it allows you to sew for hours without end. It's the number one rated sewing chair in America. Watch this video to get more information. For information about installing your hydraulic lift, we have provided a short video above. You can also access it in the description below. Attach 11 C1 cam bolts to panel A. Attach the lock plate to panel A as shown using two S1 screws. 
Gently insert the cam bolts on panel A into the edges of panels X, D, Y1, Y2, and Z. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Attach the magnet plate to panel O1 using two S2 screws. Attach the alignment pin to the top of panel O1. Flip the panel over. Attach two H1 but hinges to panel O1 using S1 screws. Attach T1 locking caster to panel O1 tighten with enclosed wrench. Attach panel O1 to panel D using S1 screws. Use some packaging to help support panel O1. Attach 3H3 flap hinges to panel A1 using S1 screws. Attach the magnet to panel A1 as shown using S1 screws. Make sure the magnet is facing the right direction, as shown. Balance panel A1 on panel O1, line up the pre-marked holes. Attach the H3 flap hinges to panel D using S1 screws. Attach 3H2 flush hinges to panel V1 using S2 screws. Attach the door plates to panel V1 using S2 screws. Attach the door hook to panel V1 using a mallet as shown. Attach T1 locking caster to panel V1, tighten with enclosed wrench. Attach the handle to panel V1 using two B2 fix bolts. Attach six C3 Kim bolts to panel K. Attach six C3 Kim bolts to each panel L two total. Attach one C3 cam bolt to each panel K1, two total. Attach one C3 cam bolt to each panel L1, four total. Insert the cam bolts on panel K1 into the edges of panel K2 as shown. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Repeat with the other K1 panel. Insert the cam bolts on panel K into the edges of panels K1 and K2. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Note the cam locks on panels L2 and K2 will be on the bottom of the bin. Insert cam bolts on panel L1 into panel L2. Repeat with the other L1 panel. Insert the cam bolts on panel L into the edges of panels L1 and L2. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Repeat with the other L, L1 and L2 panels. Insert T1 locking caster into panel V2, tighten with enclosed wrench. Attach 18 C3 Kim bolts to panel V2. Attach door hook to panel V2 using a mallet. Attach the handle to panel V2 using two B2 fix bolts. Attach the lock to panel V2 using four S4 screws. You'll need to press firmly to attach the trim ring to the outside of the lock. Attach three H2 flush hinges to panel V2 using S2 screws. Attach the small, assembled bins to panel V2 as shown by inserting the cam bolts into the edges of panels L1 and L2. Tighten the cam locks and apply cam covers.
Attach the large bin to panel V2 by inserting the cam bolts into the edges of panels K1 and K2. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Attach the H2 hinges on panel V1 to panel X using S2 screws. You can use styrofoam from the packaging to help support the door panel as you attach. Attach the H2 hinges on panel V2 to panel Z using S2 screws. Attach four C1 cam bolts to panel G. Flip the panel over. Attach four T1 plate casters to panel G using B1 fixed bolts and enclosed Allen key. Insert four D1 dowel pins into the edges of panel D, use a mallet to tap the pins in as far as they'll go. Attach two C1 cam bolts to panel Z, insert four D1 dowel pins into the edges of panel Z. Attach two C1 cam bolts to panel X, insert four D1 dowel pins into the edges of panel X. Insert the cam bolts on panel Z and panel X into the edges of panel D as shown. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. The arrow on the G panel indicates the back of the caddy. Attach panels X, D, and Z to panel G as shown. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Attach four C1 cam bolts to panel A. Lower panel A, a one onto panels X, D, and Z as shown. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Remove the screws on both ends of the side drawer rails on each panel L1 and L2. Pivot the rails to access the pilot holes for the drawer back. Attach panel L3 to panels L1 and L2 using S3 screws. Slide in the drawer bottom panel L4 into the grooves on panels L1 and L2. Attach four C1 cam bolts to each panel L. Insert the cam bolts on panel L into the edges of panel L1 and L2. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Attach panel L3 to panels L1 and L2 using S3 screws. Slide in the drawer bottom panel L4 into the grooves on panels L1 and L2. Insert the cam bolts on panel L into the edges of panel L1 and L2. Tighten cam locks and apply cam covers. Pivot the drawer rails back into place and replace the end screws on each drawer rail. Fully extend the soft close rails on the cabinet sides. Make sure the silver ball bearing part is positioned all the way to the front. Slide in each drawer and give the drawer a firm push to activate the soft closing mechanism. Open the cabinet doors and extend the top leaves. Attach the clear bumpers to the ends of each leaf panel to protect your cabinet's top. Slide the caddy into the left side of the cabinet using the rollers on the end of the leaf panel. The caddy should always be connected to the main cabinet at all times. The Aussie cabinet has two door hooks to secure the top panels when the cabinet is open. Pivot the door hook to insert the end into the edge of each panel B and C. To close the cabinet, the door hooks should pivot inward as shown. Happy sewing!